answering today once again the questions we received uh, during the last couple of weeks on YouTube. And I have the great pleasure of speaking today again to Dr. Francoise Wilhelmi de Toledo, who is the scientific director of the Buchinger Wilhelmi Clinics in Germany, Lake Constance and in Marbella, Spain. Hello again, Francoise. Hello, Lisa. Hello, everybody. Francoise, we again received many great and interesting questions and today uh, we will answer the first one of them. And uh, that question is, can fasting lower high blood pressure? Fasting can lower blood pressure. This is something that clinicians like we um, see every day. When people come to fast in our clinics, they come for long-term fasting, means periods of five days, 10 days, 15 days or more. Then there are two groups. The one who have a normal blood pressure at the beginning, well, they stay normal. Most of the time they might reduce a little bit their blood pressure, but stay in the norm range. Uh, the ones who have elevated blood pressure are either people who have hypertension and don't know it. So they have elevated blood pressure and they're not medicated. And the other ones are medicated. And we made a big study with 1,610 subjects. That's the biggest cohort ever made on human fasting, a long-term fasting. And we noticed that the blood pressure is going down by everybody, especially by the people when they come with a very high blood pressure, either they are treated or not treated. Because even the people taking medication sometimes still have a too high blood pressure. You know, the norms are around 140 to 90 millimeter mercury. And this is the European um, norm values. Uh, in America, they are still a bit lower. So if you have 160 to 100, you are hypertense. Normally you are medicated and some of the people are insufficiently medicated. So they come and they have this high blood pressure. And as clinicians who are have the task to um, accompany the people fasting, we know that the first thing to do is to monitor them every day, measuring the blood pressure regularly so that we can really adapt the medication. Fasting has the same effect than most of the drugs against high blood pressure. So they lower, um, it lowers their blood pressure. So you need to reduce the medication and in many cases, even stop it completely. And in the last study we did, was published some days ago in the Journal of the American Heart Association, we showed how blood pressure goes down, normalizes in many cases, um, and in the cases of people taking drugs, in 25% uh, of the cases we could stop, we had even to stop the medication in order to prevent the people to have problems like hypotensive crises. And at the same time, um, they normalize the blood pressure. So uh, this was extraordinary because normally when you stop the medication, the blood pressure goes up again. And that was not the case. And even in the days, the four days of a food reintroduction we did uh, slowly in the clinic, they maintained their normal values without the drugs or with a reduced dosage. And this is important because many people think uh, blood pressure is like a disease. When you have it, then you cannot change anything. And a lifestyle is responsible for most of it. This is obesity, especially if you have the obesity in the abdomen, um, uh, stress, sedentarity, uh, uh, the food containing much salt, much uh, sugar, so you get insulin resistant, um, alcohol and smoking, the usual lifestyle of the Western countries um, are making you hypertense, but it's not at all um, condition for always. You can, sh changing your lifestyle, you can either diminish the med medication or maybe avoid it. And especially if you change your lifestyle, you put out weight, you change the way you eat, you make more sport. The usual thing, especially you control your stress, you attend to an emotional balance then you can really avoid the drugs and the drugs have um, often side effects. The side effects are not so nice 
it's fatigue, dizziness, it can be headaches, insomnia, even renal insufficiency, sometimes uh, uh, heart rhythm uh, disorders, uh, hyponatremia, apokalemia, so you have too less uh, sodium or calcium in the blood, or even hypertriglyceridemia, which is uh, making you prone to diabetes type 2, and uh, even impotence. So it's serious uh, side effects. And uh, even if you have to go on taking medication, doing intermittent fasting or the best would be long-term fasting. So according to your weight and according to the duration of the disease and the intensity of the, the severity of the high blood pressure, you should take long fasting times in a medical setting um, because we notice that the longer the people fast, the best they regulate their blood pressure. It's a new paradigm in medicine, in medicine and it's making the people active, which is also good against stress because when you have a disease where you think you are passive, you have to take the drugs and if not, you will get a stroke or a myocardial infarct, which has the, the deadly um, incidents that happen when you have high blood pressure. Um, then uh, you are passive, but if you do something on your own, uh, then you are active. It's um, uh, you, you um, have a better self-efficacy, and um, it is a virtuous circle. So fasting and especially long-term fasting definitely is a complement uh, of the treatment of high blood pressure. And we published that recently. You can um, read. Uh, the, um, and find the link to the article in the description. That's great results. Thank you very much for sharing. But as far as I know, you had also some interesting findings on people that have already quite a low blood pressure because somebody like me, of course, I would ask myself if I go fasting, then what happens if I have a low blood pressure already? Yeah, many people are, um, are, um, fear that because they hear, oh, it's lower in the blood pressure. So, oh my God, if I already have a low one, it, was, it, it might be terrible. I might find, faint or have a collapse or something. No, and uh, this shows that fasting is an extraordinary way to modulate the things. When it's too high, it goes down. And we had a group of 69 women. Incidentally, we didn't look for that, but we noticed that they had a blood pressure under 100 to 60, which is quite a low blood pressure, and the blood pressure went up, light slightly up. So it's a modulation. When it's too low, it tends to go up, and when it's too high, it definitely goes down. Thank you very much. That was a very interesting summary. And as said already, all the links are in the description. And I'm already looking forward today to the next episode. Thank you very much once again, Francoise. Very and welcome. Thank you very everybody. Much. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.